The concept of drifting off into the vastness of space instills a sense of fear, a notion that would inevitably cross the minds of all astronauts during their spacewalks. This scenario is often portrayed in cinematic productions like Gravity. However, consider the hypothetical scenario of actually floating adrift in space. Space organizations such as NASA have implemented safety measures to avert the occurrence of such situations. When an astronaut embarks on a spacewalk outside the confines of the International Space Station, they remain continuously tethered to the spacecraft by a resilient 26-meter braided steel cord, boasting a formidable tensile strength of 1,100 pounds. In the rare event that this robust tether were to malfunction, the astronaut has the option to activate the SAFE, a compact emergency jetpack designed for spacewalks that facilitates unencumbered mobility, enabling a return to the space station. Yet, in the event of both the SAFE's failure and the astronaut's incapacity to operate the jetpack, a glimmer of hope would rest upon the shoulders of fellow space station inhabitants who could potentially initiate a rescue mission. Nonetheless, executing such a rescue mission would be a complex endeavor as existing spacecraft lack the capability to retrieve an astray astronaut. So, should the tether snap, the jetpack falter, and the efforts of fellow spacefarers falter, the astronaut would drift away in a trajectory determined by the forces at play during detachment. Complete weightlessness would ensue, potentially accompanied by a spinning motion, where conventional actions like kicking or propelling oneself would prove futile. The gravitational forces of Earth would ensnare the astronaut in an orbit around the planet. Should the spacesuit remain intact, a haunting prospect awaits, enduring this harrowing predicament for a possible duration of up to eight hours until oxygen supplies deplete. Conversely, if the spacesuit incurred damage leading to detachment, the space journey would be abruptly truncated, within a mere 15 seconds of exposure to the vacuum of space unconsciousness would set in. The absence of atmospheric pressure would prompt bodily fluids, including blood, to boil. The ensuing fluid expansion might engorge the body to nearly twice its normal size, transpiring within a span of minutes. An alternate scenario envisions a trajectory that, if timed and aligned appropriately, might culminate in a collision course with Earth. Nevertheless, any such journey would be short-lived as the Earth's atmospheric entry would induce a fiery demise analogous to a falling mid-year's fate. Encouragingly, humanity has yet to face the chilling prospect of a drifting astronaut. While instances of close calls have materialized in the past, the effectiveness of astronauts' safety equipment has thwarted the realization of such a scenario. Leading organizations like NASA maintain a steadfast belief that the likelihood of a drifting astronaut is minuscule a sentiment that is ardently hoped to be well-founded. We trust you found this presentation engaging. Should that be the case, kindly express your appreciation by favoring this content and subscribing for an abundance of forthcoming material. Thank you profoundly for your viewership, and until we meet again, take care.